Well, the COVID idiots are at it again. This is going to be a rant. This is going to be a rant with booze. This is going to be a boozy goddamn rant. Roll the intro. So here we have one of the scenes in London today, 20th of March. Oh, the joy. Stand up, take your freedom back. The actual fuck. So the question is, what are these people protesting and what freedoms do they want back? You know what? I'm going to rephrase that. What are these dickheads doing in a big fucking space with lots of people around them with no fucking sort of protection over their faces and paying no sort of fucking attention to any sort of social distancing while moaning they don't want to social distance because they want to get everything back open and saying no oh, the numbers are coming down yeah you're gonna pop them back up though you fucking dickhead jesus christ now they're moaning obviously they want things to reopen brilliant uk schools have started to reopen in england they're open in wales most of them are open in northern ireland they're opening on the 22nd of march so in fucking two days time from now basically monday shopping most are preparing to reopen within the next few weeks whereas your supermarkets things have never fully shut and as we know from the death of high streets in most fucking big cities most people do their shopping online anyway so what else could they moan about Haircuts, most possibly, that could be something they're due to reopen in a couple of weeks, so I'm not sure how much they're fucking moaning about them. It's the pub, isn't it? It's the fucking pub. These fucking dicks, while drinking in the park and chatting with each other, are moaning they can't drink somewhere and chat with each other. I don't think that's really the motive they were going for, but hey, it works. Now, we're due to reopen on the 12th for bars. We find out on the 5th if that's going to go ahead, based on the numbers. Oh, which means, guaranteed, there's going to be a spike now in about two weeks' time because of dickheads like these. And dickheads like this guy. Uh, in the last few days. With, uh, yeah, it's, on... it's despicable. They're, they're not paid, paid to, uh, to stop our peaceful right to protest, you know? We live in a democracy. We don't live in a place where they're to shut us down. It's not right. It's not what they're paid for. It's not what we want from them. And they uh, need to police crime, not this. And what's the, um, if you remain, I uh, understand you're running for London Mayor. Yeah. What will be your first uh, action as London Mayor? Make protests legal and, and aid people to be able to protest. Thank you very much. And unlock this town. Unlock this town. Unlock this country. Thank you very much. Thanks. So that was the actor Lawrence Fox, also known as Stupid Stupid Dickhead. He's running for mayor. Fucking joy. This is going to be a fun one, isn't it? Now, which bit of the economy do you think they want to reopen? Because as we've discussed just before, schools have and are reopening. Shops are getting ready to reopen. Hairdressers are getting ready to reopen. And pubs are getting on their way ready to reopen. Everything is prepping for everything coming down. The numbers keep going down and everything going back to normal. We've vaccinated almost, well, over 26 million fucking people, almost 40% of the population. And now you want to protest. Hmm. Maybe because it's not a fucking cold day. Hence why you didn't go and protest at fucking Christmas time, isn't it? And over New Year's, when it was fucking cold. Luckily, it's warm now. So you all come out from your fucking grandma's basement and go, I want to protest that I can't go to the pub. Well, to fucking shit. But the look of it, no one's going to be going to the pub for a fucking while. And things will get fucking delayed. Because you guarantee that... Four or five thousand odd people are going to end up spreading a fucking virus about. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be fucking much. And there won't be a delay. But there's always the fucking chance with stupid fucking people like this that they're going to cock things fucking up. Jesus fucking Christ. What is your fucking problem? We have light at the end of the tunnel. We are getting ready to open. You just want to open now because you can't fucking wait. What is it? Another two weeks? 5th of April? Something like that? You're going to have the stay home, stay local? 
Whereas you can go to the park and meet up with other people? Or was that last week's fucking opening thing? Because there is a roadmap for all this shit. We know what's opening, all being well and the numbers coming down. We're up about 5,300 people for the seven day average, thereabouts. So yes, much better than the 30 odd thousand at Christmas. But still not as low as when we were actually open in fucking July. The actual fuck are you numpties trying to do? Do you actually not want to open? You've all realised that you don't actually like people and you just actually like staying at home and spending time with your loved ones and working from home because that's so much easier than having to commute through a city or from driving on the motorway or anything like that. The actual sodding fuck. You are the people who are going to delay the fucking opening. And for what? For fucking what? For you saying, oh, we want to open now. It's three more weeks. You've done this now for fucking several months. Can you just last three more fucking weeks until you can go to the pub? Shops are going to be open in fucking two weeks thereabouts. Hairdressers about the same sort of time. No. No, no, no. No matter rum. Fucking fuckballing fuckheads. That, that is literally it. I said that at the start this was going to be a fucking rant and it just fucking is. No. Fucking put a mask on and just fucking socially distance from people. I would have been happy if you'd all been wearing masks at this process. I would have said, yeah, fine, at least you're wearing masks. At least it's something. But no, because you're all fucking dickheads. And your right to protest in the UK hasn't been taken away. It's not illegal to protest. It's just been reduced in a way because there's a public health crisis. One that's affected 4.2 million fucking people. 120,000 people have died from it. And we're only just really figuring out the effects of long COVID and how bad it actually fucking is. But no, you dickheads are still out on the street being fucking dickheads. Oh, fuck. My life.